So let's look at the twister. This is one of the easiest setups for the twister, I would say. The twister's quite an advanced submission, and I like to do it. I've hit it in two professional fights, um, and I hit it all the time in training. I probably hit twisters more than I hit rear naked chokes. Jack's getting pretty good at defending twisters, though, because I do it to him every day. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to look from the scaffold. Um, again, it kind of surprises people, this one. So look, we're here. He's in the scaffold. And all I'm looking to do is, again, I want that Dagestani handcuff position, if I can get it, that cross wrist position. So I'm, I'm looking for this. At the same time as I'm looking for this, I, I want to try and get my hook in here. So I need to be getting nice and close with my hips, and I'm trying to get this, this hook in. And ideally, if I can, I'm trying to make a triangle with my legs. So see how I'm almost in like a lockdown position there. That, that's ideal if I can get that. But even just getting that single hook, sometimes that's enough. If I can get that single hook, I can take him over and I can, you know, build the position from there. But if I can get a triangle, even better. So I've got this here, and then I can pull this other arm out and I can go two on one. And I, I can start getting my hips under and taking him to the other side. As I get sort of halfway, you'll notice his arms behind my head. I don't want to let him swim that out because he'll go to his knees and he'll bail and I might end up on bottom. Th that would be defensively a good idea for him. So I need to be aware of that. So again, we're here. So I get this position, look. I'm coming through, I'm getting my hook in and I'm trying to go two on one on this arm. So as I take him over, I'm going to let go of that two on one and I'm going to catch here. I want to control this. I'm trying to make a lockdown on his leg and now I'm going to swim my, my far arm out and under and up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to get up and grab his shoulder here. So we're in this position. And now I can start looking at the twister. So let's, let's do a little different angle for this. Um, let's do it more on this angle. So we're here. So this arm is coming round. This leg is making the hook. Trying to get that triangle if I can, and getting my hips under, taking him over. Now I'm going to catch his wrist, shoot my arm up and under. I'm coming up, and I'm grabbing his shoulder. Okay, I'm making my lockdown on his leg, so I've got a triangle, and I've hooked my foot under his ankle. I'm holding his shoulder, and now all I need to do is get like a tie clinch here. I can use an S grip, a tie clinch. People really bend it, I use like a rear naked choke grip. But I just want to get to here. He's got one arm to defend. Okay, so he's trying to defend. It's like uh, Wing Chun. You've got to do a little Wing Chun battle. Ho, 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 ho. Hit him with the five fingers of death. And then the twister, okay? If you don't tap from the twister, he'll, he'll die a month later from the five fingers. Okay, so again, uh, let's keep it on that angle. So we're here. I'm getting the wrist the hook, and then all I'm trying to do is get my hips underneath and hit that bridge. As we're going, I need to control this arm because if I lose it, he's going to bail. So I need to use my head and my grip on his wrist. I can swim my other arm out and up, and I'm looking to cup this shoulder. His legs tight, his upper body's rotated so his back's on the mat. I, he's breathing heavy already, okay? Again, he's got one hand to defend this. I only need to win this little hand fight once. As soon as I win it, I grab his head and then I get my twister from there, okay? It's really tight. Cheers, mate. It's really tight and uh, yeah, it's a surprising move. You don't expect to be twisted when he's got that scarf hold on top. So uh, give it a try. Let me know if you catch anyone with it.